Okay, so Virgo, Virgo rising, Virgo ascendant, or if you have Virgo in the first house. Virgo people are very, um, very clean cut. The way they present themselves is very, you know, clean and organized, and you will see them with them. You know, they're, they have their own sense of charm. Quite majestic, I would say, as well. They are very proper. They look respectable, those kinds of things. Also, they have a knack for perfectionism. And that goes with every area of their life. They, that's just their habit. And I've noticed that for the most part, if you have, you know, a strong Virgo or, you know, if you have your son in Virgo or a Virgo, strong Virgo rising, there is a chance that they are open to surgery, you know, because they are more on perfectionism. They like everything to be perfect on them. Even to a point of having some form of surgery, we do have a lot of people um, working on surgery issues. Um, for example, Michael Jackson um, also went into a surgery for that, you know, what makes him confident as a whole. And, you know, it's an overall change for his part. And the reason that I'm mentioning Michael Jackson is that... Um, I believe he has Gemini rising. So with the Virgo rising, that is also prominent, that Gemini and Gem Gemini and Virgo point of a, a Virgo rising's chart is very prominent. So um, that can really sink into them, their, that perfectionism in terms of their work ethics with everything that they do. And when it comes to their looks and appearance and um how they present themselves to people all at the same time. Now, Virgo people, Virgo rising people are quite weak in terms of their energy. So it's very important for them to have a, a very wonderful environment and the people around them are very positive. They have Libra in their second house. So when it comes to their, you know, interaction with people, um, when things are not going well, it easily can stress them out and, you know, they can get quite sick, easily sick even because of that stress. But at all the same time, if things are working very well for them, you know, they have a um, love life, very happy connections with the people around them, that can really also boost up their finances, you know, their energy levels, they can really feel good as a result. So Virgo rising people are quite susceptible with the energy around us. They can easily pick up things all at the same time. Probably the only thing I would I am concerned with a lot of Virgo people is that sometimes they can be so focused on one certain area of situation you know they are focused on one thing to a point where in they are starting to miss out a lot of things so a lot of virgo rising people can miss out on opportunities because they can be focused on every single detail to a point they miss out on the bigger picture that is probably one of their downfalls so um yeah so they easily get tired especially in terms of confrontation and have you ever noticed that how a lot of Virgo rising people can be quite gloomy? Yes, they can be perceptive with their thoughts and the things, you know, get they can be very practical and analytical. They can really see through um, every situation with precision in mind. They do have Scorpio in the third house. So, you know, that is just like... It, nothing ever they can never miss out on on things they have that intuitive ability in them as well but because this is a scorpio it can raise up that gloomy factor wherein they can think negatively you know 
they think of every aspect of the scenario, the situation. They think and visualize the results and the outcome of a certain um, whatever they're tackling with. But they can also think of the negative factors in place. You know, what if things doesn't work out? What if something happens? What if this person doesn't do this? You know, there's a lot of questions in their mind most of the time, and that really prevents them to um, sometimes take a complete grasp of a situation and make use of the opportunity that is being presented to them. They have this, um, their family life are usually quite very active. It's going to differ for um, each Virgo rising people because, um, you know, we do have planets in our own chart. So if your fourth house is very noisy, like there's a whole bunch of planets right there, they could have experienced some form of difficulties in their childhood or there could have been some problems in their family life, you know? Not in necessarily family, but maybe they were not clearly understood by their parents, but they can be very close to them. They can be very close to them, it's just that maybe they just had some form of traumatic experiences. There was problems in that family. But all at the same time, they, have, they were highly influenced by their family. They have learned a whole lot with their family. And that's why everything that a Virgo rising do, it has a sense of purpose, you know? It has a sense of purpose. Like, they can be futuristic. They have a futuristic kind of mindset into things all at the same time. With Virgo rising people, they can be very um, serious, you know. They don't even know how to have fun. Virgo rising people don't really know how to flirt around. Maybe that is something that they will find hard to do. And maybe even if they tell you that, hey, I know how to flirt, I know how to have fun. It is... Um, the way they actually implement that is going to be different from the usual. I mean, compare it to an Aries person who is all about fun and excitement, wherein, you know, they have Leo in the fifth house. So they really know how to do this kind of thing. But in their fifth house, it's Capricorn. So it's more on the serious, you know, they can, they're fun, entertainment and excitement is probably with their work life. When they do work, that is where they enjoy things. Maybe they can be very childlike though. Maybe, you know, childish in a way, but probably, you know, they can express this more in a work environment, that kind of thing. But when it comes to romance and all of that, I kind of feel that this can create some form of seriousness in them as if they're like a baby who don't know how to have fun. So it might take time for them to really, you know, um, start having having fun, start having that childlike experiences, that flirtatious energy around them. They can, but, you know, you really... It's how they um, implement it is quite different from the usual. There is a sense of, you know, it's like there is an awkward energy in there. But they can have fun eventually as they grow up, probably, you know. It's like they are a late bloomer, let us say, like that. Because once they grow up, you know, the chart moves and they enter that Aquarius area. So they are more, they learn how to have fun, how to experiment, how to how to do things that they have never done before. But um, the usual blueprint of a Virgo rising, they don't know how to have fun. And they're more on the serious side of things and life basically. They can work with a lot of people though. Really working with a lot of people. Um, that's why you will see a lot of Virgo rising people, people that, you know, they thrive in work that deals with a lot of masses, you know, maybe networking, 
or doing some form of technical work, you know, we do have that, you know, who is that uh, Mark Zuckerberg? You know, the creator of Facebook, it's all about those technical stuff with Facebook that attracts a whole lot of people. So it has that kind of element to that. Um, and that can also mean that their work life can be not so stable because this is being ruled by Uranus. So um, their work life, you know, can thrive a lot and then suddenly create some form of downfall. You know, um, there is some form of inconsistency, inconsistency in that area of their life. There could be ups and downs. So they have to create some form of job that can, you know, give them some form of passive income because if they do things, you know, um, on hand kind of job like you know a sales job wherein suddenly you earn money and then one time you don't and then you cr you enter some form of crisis situation in terms of your work creating a lot of problems and eventually you need to fix a lot of things as a result so um yeah there is some form of instability when it comes to their work or this could be a situation wherein there is something quite peculiar in terms of their work. Maybe they are more willing to experiment and do things in their work rather than for fun. You know, when it comes to their work, they can be really dedicated. They're willing to take the risk all at the same time as well. Also, um, when in terms of their love lives and relationship, like a one-on-one -on -one commitment, they tend to attract people that need help. They have here Pisces, so there is some form of confusion in that. You know, they could be attracting the wrong type of people in their field, or they, since Virgo people, Virgo rising people, likes to correct things. So you know, sometimes they can be quite challenged as well. Like, you know, um, they cannot get a certain person and sometimes there are cases wherein I want to do things to get this person. You know, there is a challenging factor as well. And a certain scenario wherein they can be very, um, they want to fix the person, you know. Um, someone who needs help, someone who's confused, someone who has problems in life. You know, it's really not about being with a person because you love them. I mean, that could be part of the blueprint, but their main goal, your, their initial goal is to be being with someone because they want to fix that person, maybe you want to care for that person, take care of that person for whatever reason. There is definitely a reason for that. So they tend to attract those type of relationships as well. So it can create ups and downs and, you know, eventually they will learn the process of how a relationship should work and what healthy boundaries is all about. Eventually, they will learn all of that. So, um, like I mentioned earlier, whenever there is a crisis situation or, you know, for example, in their work life, that is the time wherein they're willing to take the risk. And, you know, they are willing to change and take a risk, especially when things are being threatened to them. You know, when life gets in the way, that is the time we're in. They take action and try to do things. And they want it fast. They want some form of immediate results. They don't want to prolong things because by prolonging it, it it's like making them crazy in the head. You know, they want everything very fast. In, in that sense they are very patient people though they can really wait and um, when it comes to confrontations and all that if they can make things work out if they can solve it if there is a way to fix the situation they'll go in that route they're not going to argue with a person they, they want to fix things Though, for some reason, I have noticed that a lot of Virgo rising people can have a lot of miscommunication issues as well. Maybe depending upon where their Mercury is on their chart. Or maybe if they have a strong Pisces, then, you know, they can have this um, 
difficulty in terms of technology, difficulty in terms of um, how they communicate with people all at the same time. Um, they are very traditional in their ways as well. Also, um, another factor with uh, Virgo rising people is that they have Gemini in their 10th house. So um, a lot of times you can see Virgo rising people can be quite of a two-faced kind of person because, you know, the 10th house is not just about our career. It is our reputation and how other people see us, you know, how we are in the public eye. So, you know, depending on what they're handling with the topic that they're handling, whatever they're focusing, they give out different attitudes or different personalities in that. So let's say I'll be serious in this topic and then in this scenario and this group of people I will be bubbly and funny you know they can act like they can be actors really they can you know change the way how other people can see them also they can be quite a changeable person as well their mood swings can change sometimes their interests of and in things can be can come into as well they can like two people at the same time you know having a mix of that Gemini energy in them. Also, when it comes to their work life, you know, the career that they will thrive in has a lot to do with their hands. They are really good with their hands. They are very uh, mental, analytical, and very talented people. And once they make use of their um, skills with their using their hands in specific, they can go a long way. They can really be very popular very well known if they make use of their abilities wisely and effectively all at the same time. They are a very caring person as well. They have cancer in their 11th house. So they're very caring and they, you will notice that they will have a lot of dramatic um, acquaintances and social networks. So because they have that cancer in the 11th house. So when you are friends with a Virgo rising person, you will notice that they really care about you a lot. Maybe they can share emotional secrets to you. Or maybe a lot of friends of them share a lot of their emotional stuff to them. So um, yeah, and again, like I mentioned earlier, this also heightens the fact that they get their um, influences in family matters, especially with their mom, they can really you know um, maybe their mom is a role model or there's something about their mom that helps them um, proceed with life. Maybe they give their mom gives them advice or um, there's something about um, having some form of gains with the help of a mom can be present as well. So um, another factor for Virgo rising people is that even though, you know, they might be thinking a whole lot of things um, internally going on inside of them, um, when it comes to, you know, their daily life or how they are going to navigate their work, you know, they're not going to include their thoughts, their paranoia in terms of, you know, their work life or on the things that they have to do like there is a boundary to their misery and to the things that they need to do so they are a very responsible type of person people and they don't really um, combine their emotional disturbance to the things that they have to do you know Basically, they complete the task that they set themselves to do and they don't include unnecessary thoughts, unnecessary emotions in that. So it's like work is work, love is love, family is family. No, it doesn't mix up. That's usually the blueprint of those that are Virgo rising. Probably because they have that, you know, Leo in their 12th house creating um, some form of dominancy to what is hidden, to what is out there. 
So, um, yeah. Um, the celebrities I have over here are Madonna. Madonna, Steve Jobs, and, you know, they're really good with, you know, analytical skills and all that. Emma Watson is also another one. So if you notice, the people that I've mentioned um, right now are those type of Virgo rising that we're in. They have, they're known for, not just for entertainment. Um, they have a purpose in life and people know them as someone that, you know, creates a form of shock in the world and has made some form of contribution to the society as well. Jay-Z is also a Virgo rising person, though he does have that sun in Gemini, uh, sorry, sun in Sagittarius. So he's, he's more of a flamboyant type of person and really good with the words as well. Like I mentioned earlier, Mark Zuckerberg is also in Char Sharon Stone. And Sharon Stone, I believe, also had that plastic surgery done on her face. Um, so, yeah, you know, perfection in all areas of their life. That's what they do. And detail, very detail-oriented person as well. So, um, yeah, this is my uptake for those that are in this rising Virgo. So let me know what your thoughts are. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like more videos like this. Or if you just want to hear my um, monthly horoscope, then that would be awesome as well. I'll see you guys again next time.